So in a short video, I was asked to talk about just some key metrics uh, and some financials. What are the areas that to uh, consider or address and make sure that you can assess the health of your business, uh, measure that business and convey that to other investors, etc. So some really quick things on the financial side, um, you know, you have to understand the basics of a profit and loss, um, a balance sheet and its structure. Uh, you have to understand what your gross profit is or your, and your GP uh, margin. You have to understand your net profit. Um, your forecast is very simple. Uh, you probably don't really need to go beyond three years. I always think the definition of a five-year plan is something that never really needs to happen. That's a great vision. But if you've got some concrete numbers of how you're going to grow in the first three uh, years, that's great, especially if we've got a prior, hit, you know, prior year to look at performance on. So you know, that's the, you know, the P&L uh, forecast. The other one is that you'll want to look at a cash flow forecast, still focusing on the financial side of the business. You know, cash flow, uh, it, it, it very, very simply, the key thing that manages your burn rate if you're not yet monetized and, and generating uh, revenue. On the key metric side, the operating metrics, there's a lot. And, and at entrepreneurseminar.com, I talk about them, I help you calculate them and all that kind of good stuff. But here I suggest to you a few things. The number one, uh, where the rubber meets the road, is uh, the cost of acquiring a customer. What's the variable cost? What's the direct marketing that it takes in order to acquire a customer? If we then have a good addressable market and, and the channel we're in is pretty linear, or the multiple channels, we can figure out that if it costs 20 pounds or 200 pounds to acquire a customer, we know how much investment that we need to spend in order to get or grow the business and you know, clutch a, a certain size of the market. Another one, just sticking with the advertising side, is return on ad spend. Certainly I, I would focus uh, on that. On the stock side, stock turnover, really important if we're turning over stock and understanding that. Um, what I'd also say to you is that if you look at all these things, there are very specific metrics that you might want to look at as well. So things like customer lifetime value or CLV, uh, understanding how long um, your, your customer stays with you, very important. Looking at retention and churn metrics. I think if you had a balance of some customer metrics in terms of acquisition, and you understood some basic things, especially around the, the product side and around stock management, and on the other side you've got some basic understanding of how the financials are put together and you can really explain them and understand what goes into them, you're going to be in a, a, a pretty good shape. And if that interests you more, there's lots on, on, on business metrics and a bunch of uh, material, uh, entrepreneurseminar.com, that, that talks about that stuff. Hope you found this useful.